click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the anomalous behavior of fluorine and now in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation of chlorine. So how we can prepare or how we can obtain chlorine gas, this is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. So friends this is the topic where we are going to talk about the preparation of chlorine and let us understand that is how we can obtain chlorine. So there are various methods from which we can obtain chlorine and talking about the first one that is by oxidation of HCl. Yes, so here basically we are using HCl and we are oxidizing it so as we can convert this HCl into Cl2. So this is what I am going to talk about. So for that we are using that is oxidizing agents like MnO2. So therefore in this case basically MnO2 is reacted with 4 moles of HCl and by providing a certain amount of heat we could convert this MnO2 into MnCl2 along with that of a liberation of Cl2 can take place with the evolution of that is 2 moles of H2 as a byproduct. So this is how basically we can obtain Cl2 by oxidation of HCl. So talking about the next one that is in this case also that is this is PbO2 so therefore this lead oxide whenever it is been treated with that is 4 moles of HCl so therefore this will convert into PbCl2 along with that of Cl2 it will be liberated and that is 2 moles of H2 that will be the byproduct. So again this is a method where we can obtain Cl2. I talk about the next one that is whenever red lead that is Pb3O4 suppose if it is treated with 8 moles of HCl. So in that case we will we'll obtain 3 moles of PbCl2 along with that of H2 as a byproduct and Cl2 is what we need. So therefore even this where we can obtain that is chlorine gas. So not only this, we have also different reaction from which we can obtain that is Cl2. So now let us understand that also. So friends, here we are going to talk about that is the oxidation of HCl. So in this case, we are using oxidizing agents like 2 moles of KMnO4. And whenever it is been treated with 16 moles of HCl, the product that is what we could get is 2 moles of KCl. Along with that of MnCl2, Cl2 and 8 moles of H2O. So this is how basically we can obtain a Cl2 that is also in a large amount that is 5 moles of Cl2 has been obtained in this case. So talking about the other oxidizing agent that is K2Cr2O7 that is potassium dichromate. So whenever potassium dichromate is treated with 14 moles of HCl we could get 2 moles of KCl along with that of chromium chloride along with that of 3 moles of Cl2 and 7 moles of H2. So again this is a method where we can obtain Cl2 by oxidizing that is HCl. So this was one of the method and now let me talk about the next method. The next method is obtaining Cl2 by action of mineral acids on bleaching powder. So this is CaOCl2 that is nothing but bleaching powder whenever it has been treated with HCl and this is nothing but a mineral acid. So the product that is what we could get is we could get calcium chloride along with that of that is H2O as a byproduct and here is what we can obtain Cl2. So talking about the next one that is whenever the bleaching powder is treated with H2SO4 then the product that is what we could get is calcium sulfate that is CaSO4 along with that of H2 as a byproduct and Cl2 is a gas that we need. So this was the second method from which we can obtain that is Cl2 and now let me talk about the next reaction. So the next reaction is obtaining Cl2 by action of concentrated H2SO4 on NaCl. That is we understand that is the sodium chloride obviously it consists of Cl but this Cl can be converted into Cl2 also that is by that is treating 2 moles of NaCl with oxidizing agent like MnO2 along with that of 3 moles of H2SO4. So in this case the product that is what we could get is sodium bisulfide. So along with that of MnSO4 that is manganese sulfate along with that of H2 as a byproduct and Cl2. So even this is a method where we can obtain Cl2. I talk about the last one that is by decons process yes by decons process that is by converting this HCl into Cl2 that is we have to do is we have to treat 4 moles of HCl with oxygen and we have to heat it at 723 Kelvin in presence of copper chloride so therefore the product that is what we could obtain is 2 moles of Cl2 along with that of 2 moles of H2O so therefore this were the uh, methods where we can obtain that is Cl2 we understand that is by electrolysis of molten NaCl we can separate that is Cl2 as well as sodium so that sodium is used for preparation of OH so in that case also we could easily prepare that is Cl2 or we could easily separate out Cl2 so even that was the case that is I was talking about and that's it so therefore this were the methods to prepare Cl2 and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much